some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. I got the state attorney's office in here. Right yeah, family office. I got all kinds of the state attorney. I gotta do some public records with him. Him. Wow. Excuse me. You're not allowed to record in here. Yeah. No, where's where's uh was it a policy uh, you know lana the arguments that you and joey use are so tired and worn out that uh well all i have to do is recycle old clips of uh me debunking your arguments to get the point across because you two are that damn tired and predictable so i'm gonna roll a clip of uh where you two got kicked out of a courthouse in roughly in the same area because you're in the same judicial district. So, yeah, same thing applies here. You can't film. So let's go ahead and roll that beautiful bean footage, shall we? You're not recording in here, are you? No, you can't record inside the building. Because it's administrative order, it's posted outside. It's U.S. Constitution. No, no, ma'am. Oh, boo-hoo-hoo, -hoo, Lana, shut your dang mouth and uh, go do some actual research. Because if you actually did any research, you would see uh, that the Manatee County is under the 12th Judicial Circuit Court system. And uh, according to this administrative order right here, which can be looked up on their website, yeah, uh, there is no filming in any of the areas of any courthouse and if this were unconstitutional i think this would have been addressed by now so don't even bother trying to use that argument because it won't fly in any court so same pathetic little argument that you have same court district just a different court itself and you think it'll uh, fly here yeah you must be completely brain dead lana it's uh is there a law, a statute? It's, a, it's an order from the chief judge. Oh, it doesn't make a difference. Uh, yeah. they it makes a difference. And no, the it difference doesn't. is What's this. Your name, Diaz. What's so, your badge number? 205 series. What's, why, are you, why are you so hostile? No, 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 because. Like, can I, can I, yes, so, so you're, telling me, you're telling me a chief judge's order is higher than the U.S. Constitution? Yeah. Well, you. Oh, that's another pathetic little argument right there you've got, Lana. Considering that there is the Tenth Amendment which covers this kind of thing. You see, uh, video cameras are not exactly covered in the Constitution, and uh, despite what you think, freedom of the press doesn't mean what you think it does. So basically, the Tenth Amendment grants uh, the states the rights to create laws that are not covered in the Constitution. And, uh, well, this is one of those situations right here. So therefore, your argument renders itself Totally incompetent because you're arguing that co the Constitution grants you the right to be here when in reality, yeah, it doesn't. At least not in the capacity of bringing a camera in and spying on everybody. But hey, if you want to go do your records requests, that's uh, fine and dandy. You just can't take a camera in there. 
can go and argue that with her. I'm that not going to argue with you. But I'm going to tell you, it's you cannot do it here. You need to turn it off. If I don't, if you don't, I I can arrest you. you will you, you arrest, arrest me? me? I right. will arrest you. You, you sure? will arrest me. I will arrest you. Okay. For what well, crime? I, for what crime? Uh, it's called obstruction. 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 So if I don't if I don't leave right now, recording, I'll leave. Then you'll arrest me. Diaz control. I couldn't hear I you because of the door. I need some backup at 2071. Yeah, just say yes and I'll walk out the door. Just say yes and I'll walk so out the door. So you arrest me? So if I... You're arrested? Yes, if we don't arrest you. Okay, that's all I need for all that's all I need. Okay. Yeah. Hey, can, I, can I speak better. to a supervisor yeah. too? Yeah, of course. I want to speak to your... Yeah. yeah, Lalo, you might as well just go ahead and pack it up and turn around, walk away, and uh, get some more creative arguments. Because, like I said, yours are quite boring, dull, and way overused. Try some new material. Maybe you'll get a buy next time. My supervisor told me that in that so you don't have a building with show a flag, me the law. So you don't have a supervisor a, right now? It's not a law. I told you already. Okay, so why exactly. enforcing something that's not a law? Because it's an order. It's a court order. You know that it doesn't matter. Court order this is an oath to the, the, the Constitution. Constitution. Right I'm, well, go, the I'm not an attorney. Okay, well, go discuss it with an attorney. Okay, you swore an oath to the, the Constitution, sir. Okay, I have, I have orders did. that I have to follow. Can I speak yeah, to a supervisor, please? I told you, my supervisor is so in no a white building here. across the street. You have no supervisor here. You can go talk to him over there. You have no supervisor you here. You have, I told you where it's at. My supervisor is in a white so you building have no supervisor across here. the street. Can you show me that rule? I just want to see yeah, it. I, I want to see it right here. Yeah. I want to record the rule. I'll give it to you. Just give me one more. You have a copy? Okay, we'll wait right here until you give it to us. Are none of y'all supervisors? No. Are y'all all just like deputies the same? Okay. Yeah, I mean, you guys swore an oath to a constitution. Listen, I'm all. Now, now you're telling me that the now you're telling me the judicial branch makes laws, right? Oh, Lana, you filthy little liar, you! Yeah, they didn't say that at all. That's you putting words in their mouth. That's you trying to spin the narrative that. Uh, people are corrupt around here. No, that's not what they said at all. They basically stated that the uh, uh, judges have ordered that there be, be no filming in the courthouses, and I'm sure with very good reason because of attorney-client privilege, uh, jurors walking around, and a lot of other stuff like that. You know, typical courthouse security issues, keeping the threats to a minimum level, you know, to protect everybody. Are you a supervisor, sir? Or we'll be arrested. Okay, I'll leave under threat of arrest then. Wow. The whole squad. The whole squad. Yep. Hey, are you a supervisor, sir? Are you a supervisor? Move. Move. Supervisor? Can we speak to a supervisor? Uh, I've been better. Are you a supervisor? What's the problem? All right, we just wanted to come over here and file some public records. Okay. All right. And then tell me you're not allowed to record inside the building. Okay. What? And you can be recording. Is that what I'm hearing? That's the administrative order. So, so, but you're telling me that the judicial branch makes laws now, right? Is that what you're yeah, telling me? Yeah, administrative order. I explain, like they explained to you. Administrative order is there's no recording of any of so, the buildings. So you're telling me that the administrative order yeah. is higher than the are Constitution. You to what I'm I, yeah, I obviously can hear you. Yeah. Well, you, you are listening. <laughs> well, you listen to what I'm saying. Actively you know, listening. That's what you're looking for. Right? There you yeah. go. I got gotcha. you. Because he explained you what the rules are. If I don't care what the rules if, are. If you, if you don't care what they're I don't. I care what the U.S. Constitution. Hey, Lana. Didn't you swear an oath to the Constitution? You know, because you did join the military yourself, and it says that you have to support and defend the Constitution. Well, at this point, well, at, as well as at many other points, you sim seem to be breaking that oath because you have no concept of the Tenth Amendment itself. Oh, for shame, Lana, for shame. You are a pathetic little oath breaker yourself. 
I mean, isn't that just the pot calling that kettle black when you go around calling everybody else oath breakers when you are probably one of the biggest oath breakers around? If you, 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 don't, care about, if you don't care about these rules, then you're not entering the book. So if Simple I go back in, what's going to happen? If you go back in and continue recording, then you're going to end up arrested. So you'll arrest me? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And what's your name, sir? Sergeant Trasker. And what's your badge number, ID 2633. Okay. So now you've actually been now the number one on the federal lawsuit because yeah, so you're, you're in charge. Yeah. That's crazy. Do you but do you understand how it's not simple? It's the U.S. Simple. Constitution, it's called freedom. We're going in the public areas. Yeah. There's no law in the, that says that we can. Government building, man. Absolutely. Yeah. Government building, man. That's absolutely. It's called freedom of press, yeah. U.S. Constitution, yeah. Amendment I, number I, one I that you sworn. Absolutely, I am. Press, what press Everybody's press. I press represent, what, what Independent press journalist. Okay. Oh, I have a very large following. Okay. So you, you'll, you'll know Good. who I am. Good. Okay. Okay. So my, so my thing basically, is. Basically, very simple, man. Okay. Okay. How's my deputy explain to you? Can I ask you a quick question before we leave? Do you understand what the First Amendment is? Absolutely. Do you understand what the five freedoms are? Absolutely. Do you, Lana? Do you at all? Do you understand what the freedom of the press actually means? It doesn't mean that it gives you the right to go anywhere you want to. Uh, it means you have the right to publish your stories without government interference. And it's just that simple. But it's a concept that... People like you seem to have forgotten along the way that it doesn't grant special rights and privileges to anybody. Okay, so you know what freedom of press is. Yes. Okay, good. I'm glad you answered me. I thank you. Because that's actually gonna, gonna play out in court. Because anything. that way you, that, that, that actually helps strip is away your qualified immunity. Yeah, you. I would like to go in and file public right. records, sir. Okay, you can end the recording without recording. I, well, I have to report my transactions. No. It's, it's my policy no. for my company. You are you the highest be, sergeant in here? You will not be able to do that. Are you the highest sergeant here? Sergeant, sergeant White is actually the one who's over these deputies that work here. Okay. So, sir, if I go back in recording, what's going to happen? For what crime would you arrest us for? A, a, a violation of the administrative order. So now that so this so is this is the whole building. Correct. Yes. Okay. So what would be the crime, though? If we the get obstruction. Obstruction. So, obstruction so of what? He's trying to explain to you. He's resisting without recording. violence. We tell you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He was. It would be resisting without violence mm -hmm. because you're in violation. Video of recording. Correct. Public employees. Correct, because in that administrative order signed by the chief judge. What do you think about that yourself, personally? What do you think about that? I mean, you swore an oath to the Constitution. You swore an oath to the Constitution, man. Yeah. So, now, We're so, just now the, our rights. so now the judicial branch right. makes yeah. laws, is that what you're saying? It's their building. It's not their no, building, it's, it's the, the people's, people's building, building sir. The same ones that you work for. That is the, the You know what the beauty order. of the uh, Sheriff's Department is? The beauty of the Sheriff's Department is it's, they're actually the constitutional officers. Other than like the PD, they're actually part of the executive. Executive branch, the sheriff's department actually works for the people directly. They don't work under any other department. If you if you look at the at the uh, how it's separated, so you work for the people, and you're supposed to uphold the people's rights. So just because some judge, we make, do, man. I know, but you're but not right now. Yes, we are. No, you're not. Yes, you're violating Again, my this rights. Is your, this is First the, Amendment. This so is you your, understand the Second Amendment, correct? Ma'am, I'm trying to have a conversation. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Every time I open my mouth, you're trying to jump. Yeah, go ahead. Me. So at this point, I'm done with that. So. You have the option. You can come in and file whatever you need to, but you will not record in this building. If or, you do, you will be actually asked again to stop. If you don't stop, you'll be escorted. If we have to escort you out of the building, you'll be arrested for obstruction. It's very simple. I explained the rules to you. Well, there's there's no rules. The Constitution, I, I the First Amendment. I explained exactly what's going to happen. The First Amendment. Ma'am. So if I go back in, I'll be arrested? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. And you've said it. And, that, and is that your Correct. concurrence? That's exactly what's going to okay. happen. If you film, if you go back in there and film and they ask you to stop, yes. So if they ask me to stop. And you don't stop. Well, he told me if I walked in the building recording, I'd be arrested. I said if you go back in there, because you already informed me, can't read it. So you already told by the deputy. So you already, you already, already informed of the rule, right? I know So you already informed me. If you go back in there, they, they're not going to keep telling you over and over. We're not children over here. We told you once. We told you twice, right? I informed you again that you can't do that. So if you go in there and continue ignoring what we're telling you, yes, that's what's going on. Okay, so you're going to violate your oath then? It's the same thing. 
I'm just asking. We can, we, can, we can always meet at the court and talk about it, man. Oh, absolutely, that's, we will. That's, that's your choice. Absolutely, okay? we will. But I inform you what the rule is. If right. you break the rule, that's what's going to happen. Hey, okay, so okay. I'll be arrested. And do you understand, sir? Can I? Uh, is it Sergeant White? Can I get your badge number before you walk away? I, I can't understand you, sir. And do you understand what the First Amendment is? Yes, sir. You understand the five first five freedoms? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Yeah, the law. Forget the rules. The Constitution trumps the rules, man. You guys are a bunch of clowns, man. This is why I investigate them. The East Department. Well, the sheriff. Or sheriff. Yeah, King, King, law enforcement. Mm-hmm. Uniform clowns, dude. The shiny badge that gives you extra rights. Oh, but Lana, isn't that what you're trying to argue that being a member of the press gives you special rights and? privileges above everybody else because that's all I ever see with you is that you seem to be arguing that being a member of the press grants you special rights and privileges that's why you always stick to that same tired little argument but it never seems to work out for you now does it nope oath, oath breakers is what it is Administrative order. Check that out, man. They actually had it ready for us. That's the first time I've ever had it ready for me. I'm keeping this, man. Yeah, you'll keep it, but I don't think you'll ever really show it to your audience because it'll go against your narrative, little Joey. Isn't that right? Because, well, you got to keep up with the... Uh, facade that you claim to do your research but you actually don't do your research and this would show that you are completely wrong in everything that you say that you've researched well at any rate they don't get back into the building because you know they're just a couple brain dead losers who can't figure out how things actually work now uh, speaking of uh, figuring out how things don't actually work let's go ahead and take a look at a video where a woman misuses the 911 system and it leads to her arrest so let's roll that beautiful bean footage shall we she's on the phone my side right here it looked like she was going to maybe go to that now it is at this point where the woman calls the uh, local Walmart and tells them that there's a man with a gun about to enter the store. She does this in the hope that the uh, police officers here will be dispatched to the Walmart so they won't come and arrest her. Lady, you are a special kind of stupid. 911, what's the location of your emergency? Um, I just got a call from my daughter. She's at the Walmart and told me she said there's someone in there with a gun. Okay, and what's he doing with the gun? She doesn't know. She freaks out and ran in the bathroom and locked the door. Did she get a description of him? Um, he said he was a white guy, short, blonde hair, black pants. Okay, and how did she know? How did she see that? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. She just called me. Okay, me hold call. on. Hold on one second. Okay, and how did you describe him? She said he was short and white. She said blonde hair, glasses, and black pants. Can you get the information from the daughter and find out if... This is the woman in question who made that phone call to the local Walmart. Now, why would you want to do that and get more charges put upon your record? She's most definitely got a few screws loose if she's willing to go to that extreme to avoid the initial arrest. You would have been much better off trying to beat those charges in court rather than doing something stupid like this. Open the door so I can talk to you, okay? I don't want to break your grandma's door, okay? But I will. Okay, hold on, okay. Tiffany. Who is this? What are you Hi. doing? Are you yes, but what are you doing? It's I'm, a cop. What are you I'm here talking with, with her. Come on in. Don't open the door. Open. All right. What are you doing? Well, she's got to come with us. we got some questions for her. What do I have a felony warrant? Oh, I didn't go sign my bond. Correct, but you also have a Jefferson County body only Which warrant. is what we're paying right now. Okay, it's body only. It doesn't have it's a bond It's body associated. only for child support, but if she, if I pay $1,000 to child support, I have the email, I'll show it to you. Send it to me. Is your, the card connected to Apple Pay? Is it connected to Cash App? Actually, it's connected to Facebook. No. Okay, okay, okay. Just, just give me the card number and I'll call and pay it myself. Grandma's right here. I'm sorry. I've been trying to handle this shit. I forgot about my war my bond completely. I just talked to my lawyer this morning. I didn't know Justin had a warrant. Okay. We didn't
Sounds like you've got a whole host of problems. Why add to them? And these problems include you're having to live at your grandmother's house for one thing, having to pay child support. Well, it's very rare when the woman has to pay child support. Do you even have custody of your children? Because if she's the one who's paying child support, she's most likely lost custody of her children. But oh wait, now it gets better. Now the dispatcher is going to call the woman back on her phone. So now let's get back to the show, shall we? Did you call 911 a few minutes ago? I might have been on accident, not on purpose. Okay, do you have a daughter? Uh, yeah, my daughter lives hours away though. Okay, is she at Walmart? My daughter's in... My daughter's who called you and told you I was here. Okay, but why did you call 911 and report? I didn't say, if I did, it was not on purpose. I bet you've seen me on the phone in here calling people. I didn't see you on the phone. I was standing outside. Oh, no. I was trying to get a hold of her. I was calling a million different so people. So why did our dispatch center receive a 911 call stating that she received a phone call from her daughter who was at Toma Walmart and said that there was a man that walked into Walmart with a gun? I have no idea. What? I have no idea oh, that, no. Ridiculous. No, 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 no. Okay, you can say no, 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 all you want, but that number that keeps popping up on your phone is my dispatcher calling you. I was wondering you. who the number was. Yeah, that's the number that called, because okay. you called from this number. Okay, wait, can we go talk in the kitchen for a second? So listen to me for a second. Okay. No, no, put the phone down. I want okay. you to listen and pay attention. Okay. Okay. So you called 911 by mistake, and then talked to him for about a minute, Making up a story about a man with a gun at the Walmart? Lady, if you expect me to believe that, I've got some swamp land on Mars I can sell you, and it's going pretty cheap, too. Given her stupidity, she would probably give me the money with a smile on her face. While we were here, you were inside refusing to come out. Yes. Okay. You were allegedly making phone calls. Okay. Which I why, why did you call 911 and report that somebody was at Walmart with a gun. Mm, well, I was told that, but I was in a hurry. I, I didn't even do it. I, to be honest with you, I've had about five minutes of a blackout since you guys have been here. I okay. remember nothing. Okay. So back so up. If I did, Let's back up I, to when we when we knocked on the door and made contact with you. And you I was were, on the phone with Justin. And you knew the police were here and we were going to come in to arrest you. Yep, I was on the phone so with Justin. why did you call 911 and report that your daughter called you to report that there was a man at the Toma Walmart with Probably a gun. Probably because I was panicking. Okay. Do you know that that's a crime and that's called swatting? No, I did not know Yeah, that. that's something that to elicit a large police response to a location. I assume you probably did that believing that we were going to take off. No, and we I, were just to be honest you with here. you, I have a lot of fucking... I'm not in my right fucking mind. <laughs> you got that right, sister. I, but I doubt you even have a mind to begin with. I mean, all the evidence so far would lead anybody to that conclusion. Okay. I'm just freaking out. Like, my grandma can't be here by herself. I didn't okay. know what to do. And then I You didn't just, know what to do, so you thought you'd call 911 and make a false report. I didn't know what to do. I called 911 and I was going to say something. And then I was talking to my daughter on the houseboat and she starts screaming at me. Where's the house phone? In my room. Well, it was in my room. It's in the living room now. There's one right here, too. Okay, does that show the recent calls? No, it doesn't do anything. That phone fucking sucks. Sometimes my grandma will go to call and it won't go out. It works when it wants to. And okay. I'm not lying to you. You can go ask my grandma. She'll tell you. Okay. It works no, when I, it wants I, to. I'm not worried about the, the phone working. I'm more concerned with the fact that... I'm sorry. I don't even know listen, what... I'm more concerned with the fact that you called 911 yes, to report idiot. that somebody was at Walmart with a gun. Okay? That elicits... One, a large amount of resources to respond to a place. Two, it's a false police report, okay? Yes. You're inciting panic. Yes. Whoa, 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 officer, slow down. You're going way above her head when you're talking about logistics and manpower issues and everything of that nature. You gotta find a way to bring it down to her level of understanding, okay? Okay. And three, it's a crime. I'm sorry, I didn't... I don't even remember doing it. I don't even remember shit. I'm sorry. I just, I wish I could tell you I remember doing it, and I don't. So you don't remember dialing 911 and then talking to a dispatcher? I have it on my call log. Okay. It was not even a full minute. Okay. That was a pretty short conversation, according to my dispatcher. And then my aunt called me. Mm-hmm. This is my boyfriend. Is that Justin? Yeah. Okay. 
So 125, and you talk for four minutes? Yep. Okay, so go back. And then at 130, so five minutes later, a full right five minutes. Right as soon as I got off the phone? As soon as you got off the phone, you made a one minute phone call to him. To 911. Okay, you might be doing with the gun. Did she get a description of him? Um, he's a white guy, short, blonde hair, black people. I mean, look at this garbage. The officer is playing back the recording from the dispatcher, and she is just so obsessed with her cell phone right now, she's not even paying attention to it. I mean, there is something seriously wrong with this picture. Hey, is, is Justin in the garage? Car? No, Justin's not here. You're positive? I'm positive. His he gave us permission to check the yeah, property. Yeah, you can check the garage. He's not here. Hmm? Yeah. I was watching that call on the way over, too. That back shed doesn't open! Well, can you follow me outside so I can talk that short at least? No, we're gonna sit right here until they get back in. It's locked. From the inside? Ten four. Just so you're aware, we are at the garden shed in the back, and it is locked from the inside. Oh, it makes perfect sense now why she was so fixated on her cell phone at that point, because she was letting her boyfriend know what the situation was in the house. Because, you know, he also has warrants out for his arrest. These two are a match made in heaven. They are absolutely perfect for each other. So he's in that back shed? No, we haven't been able to get in that back shed for years. My kids used to play back there. Why is it locked from the inside? I don't know. I had Austin Jones was living in that shed last I knew. Is anyone in there now? No, nobody's been in there. I kicked Austin out when he robbed my neighbor's house. Okay. They left a whole fucking trail of shit. Why is it locked from the inside? I don't know. I, ha I don't go back there. Okay. I haven't been back there since I kicked Austin out. I don't know. I have not been back there. Justin and I were in an argument this morning, and when I was in the garage, when he said his dad picked him up and he left. He texted me. He said he was with his dad. I can show you the message. I haven't been back to that back shot. I don't go back there. There's a light on in there, too. It's like a little lantern. Here. So I don't know that he's here. She made several phone calls to him while we were in there, or while she was in there waiting on us. Uh, I would lead me to believe that he's in Minnesota. Yeah, I'm not here, but this door's locked from the inside. And there's like a bed in there and shit. <laughs> so somebody's in there. Sheriff's office. Whoever's in the shed, come out now or we're coming in. Who lives in this back shed? Austin Jones was the last one back there. Austin Jones? Austin. Is he currently back there right now? Because the door's locked from the inside. I have no idea if he's back there now. He was supposed to come Austin this morning. Jones. We've got a shed back here that's locked from the inside and the property owner gave us permission to clear all of the buildings. All right, we're going to make entry in this back garage with permission from the property owner. Hey, Austin Custer and he's got a warrant. That's who Austin Jones is, his alias. Austin, you in there? Who are you? My name's Justin. Turn around. Justin? Justin. Turn around. Justin, is. look at that. Yeah. Turn around. Turn around. Get on your knees now. Get on your knees. Hands on top of your head. Interlock your fingers. Is there anybody else in there? No. Jillian? Justin lied to me! Justin! Anybody else in here with you? Is that true? Did she know you were here? All right, just stand up. You have any weapons on you? No. No needles. Nothing to stick to pull. No. All right. Yeah. Back up. I'm gonna fix you real quick. I'm oh, sorry. You good? Stand there. Nothing on you. No. What property do you have on you? Uh, just your wallet, phone. Phone, money, some sunglasses. sunglasses. All right. I'm gonna double lock these real quick. God, why the you don't lie to me all the time? <laughs> I'm just trying to make my mom's funeral tomorrow. Well, man. And then I was just trying to going to turn myself in. And after my mom, I told my PO that same thing. Seven, two, one, I was trying to make it to Minnesota to my mom's funeral tomorrow. All I had to do was make it up tomorrow and I was turning Entry made. In. I have Justin detained. Do you want to confirm that 99? You living back there, bro, or what? You just crashed in there. Katie, Katie, stop. Stop. 
Kaylee, you need to seek a psychological evaluation immediately. Because uh, for one thing, you appear to be a compulsive liar. Another thing, you appear to be a narcissist and perhaps even a sociopath. But one thing is for sure, you do need some help. No, I didn't. Figure out where that ant is coming from and then detain her. I'm being told by my sergeant that we're just gonna go. All right. I can't hear you. Okay. She knew you were here and didn't leave. She's just covering for you. I understand that. So right now I'm just gonna put your phone on the table. I'm gonna have you stand up. Okay. Walk over to me. Face the window and then have your hands behind your back. Can I put a sweater on? We'll just go like that. And I'll bring a sweater. Can I just hit a? You hit that button. For go ahead and hit whatever you want to hit. Probably what whatever. Doing? You Probably one of the few. Grandma, I have to go, Grandma. I have to go until Jefferson clears my warrant. It was paid. I showed him. I paid it and everything. Justin was hiding in the back shed. He was back there now? Yep. You can ask my grandma. We were fighting this morning. He told me he left. I have the text. Yo. I'm not used to wet other people's noses. Well, Grandma, I got it. snot hanging from my face. There's some hanging from my hands. Can you help me? I got snot hanging from my face. So, all of you walk to the front of my squad right here, 27. Alright, nothing on you. No bombs, grenades, anything like that. Do you want to help walking? Are you going to be able to make it? Warrant. I think swatting. I don't know what else he may be adding. Right. Which the ones uh, swatting, I think is class I. What is it? Swatting. 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 Calling places and eliciting an emergency response. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> All, right. oh, look what this little angel was charged with. Three counts of bail jumping and swatting, among a list of other things. Oh man, she's in real deep doo doo now. She also had a two thousand dollar bond on her, and her boyfriend was remanded to the state for felony charges. <laughs> Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?